This video is going over the pull texture Photoshop action that I include with various texture packs that I release. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the action window and to do that you go to window and then actions. It's right up here near the top and just make sure that's selected and doing so will bring up your actual actions window. To load the actual action just go to the actions window menu right here at the top. It looks like three lines with a down arrow. Click that and then go to load actions. From there, just navigate to the folder where you place the pull texture action. And I'd suggest you actually make a folder on your system where you place all of your actions so they're in one easy to find place. It can make life a little bit easier sometimes, but just select that action and hit load. And doing so will bring up a new folder called pull texture in your actions menu right here. And just click the down arrow if you don't see the actual action because you're going to want to click this pull texture action. And right here I have a preloaded texture ready to go. Just select the layer with the actual texture on it, and once that's selected, hit the play button right here on your actions menu, and the action will go ahead and run. And as you can see, it appears that the actual texture itself has darkened, but it's just because your original texture right here is still there, and now there's a new texture on top of it with a transparent background. So I'm going to very quickly just put a layer in the background here, so you can see that we now have a transparent background texture. And from there, you can go ahead and change the actual color of your texture, I'm going to hit Control u on a PC or Command u on a Mac to bring up hue saturation, colorize it, make the lightness a little bit brighter so we can actually see the color, kick up the saturation here, and as you can see you can very easily add a custom color to your texture if that's something that you're trying to do. And also right here I have another texture that's set to grayscale, just so I can show you what happens when you run this action on a grayscale or a vector object. I'm going to hit play. It's going to say the command desaturate is not currently available. That's perfectly fine, just hit continue and the action will proceed to work as normally. It still works just fine. It'll just give that little warning. And also this action can be used for more than just textures. For example, I have a photo right here, and I'm gonna actually run this action on this photo just so we can see what happens. As you can see, it desaturates the original image, but the neat thing is you now have this image on a transparent background. So if I went ahead and made a layer underneath of it, you can go ahead and, and let's just throw a custom color on this actual image right here. You can see that it makes a pretty interesting effect, and you could go ahead and overlay this image on anything else, just like you would a texture. So it's a little added bonus when you're working with something like this. And you can also take textures, like this one right here, and drag and drop it into a working file, like I've done right here. I'm just going to close this window quick. So right here I have a design going on, and I have the texture layer above it. I'm just going to resize my actual texture to fit this window a bit better. I'm hitting Control T on a PC or Command-T on a Mac to bring up the Transform menu. Once it's resized and it's positioned like you want it to be, this looks decent enough, you can go ahead and run that action. You can have as many layers as you want in your actual file. Just make sure when you run the action, you are selecting the layer with the texture on it. Hit Play. Delete the original texture, unless you want to keep it for some reason, then don't delete it. And now you have a texture very quickly overlaid on your design. It takes us a couple seconds. And little time-saving things like this action can save you a whole lot of time in the long run. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. And if it was, please like and favorite. And if you want to see more cool stuff like this, please subscribe. I put out new content weekly for designers and illustrators. Thanks so much for watching.